Ciao Juventini of the world, no, I'm sorry, I was waiting for the referee to whistle the end of Atalanta Juve because looks like the injury minutes, well, they were going on and on and on and looks they were never ending. Anyway, the game is over, we won 2-0, beautiful for the three points, beautiful to win against Atalanta, also beautiful to move the ranking of Serie A. Yesterday, Samuel Ealing Jr. he said something important on Instagram, he wrote, let me cook. If these are the result of what we are eating, Samuel, continue to cook. We Juventini, we will absolutely not disturb you. In today's video, we'll speak about Samuel cooking. We'll also speak about Paul Pogba. What is Paul Pogba cooking? But also Dusan Vlaovic. Is he cooking again? At the end of the video, we will compare how the Italian front pages, the Italian sport pages, were treating the topic of racism. Important to see if yes or no, they were going with bold, big statement to really do something against racism. Gazzetta dello Sport with Gazzetta dello Sport, Corriere with Corriere, Tutto Sport with Tutto Sport, even entering, attention, it's an important one, and in the middle video, no, we will not speak about Cristiano Ronaldo, because Cristiano Ronaldo era is over, but maybe another Cristiano that will open a new era. Yes, Cristiano Giuntoli, and his word at the party of Napoli yesterday evening. Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel. I repeat for the people that missed it yesterday, with the channel we reached 25,000 Juventini. I really want to thank again every single one of you. We don't stop, we need to continue to cook and reach other targets, 30,000 and maybe one day virtually filling in the Allianz Stadium with more than 41,000 Juventini on the channel. Who knows? We keep continue to cook, we keep continue to dream. Samuel Ealing Jr., I said it, he said yesterday, let me cook. We have to speak about the fantastic performance of Samuel Ealing Jr. in Serie A yesterday. His first start in Serie A, not his absolute start, he already started in Coppa Italia against Monza. Yesterday he showed maturity, he showed that he's ready, ready to play now con with continuity, not only entering at the 30th minute before the end of the game, but maybe also a starter of Juventus. Does that mean that now he has to be a starter for every single game until the end of the season? No, but he totally deserves to be on the front pages of Juventus, on the Italian pages, on the thumbnail of this video, because yesterday he was able to show maturity in his game style, also a growth in his way of playing, because yesterday he was able to do a different game than when he started against Monza. When he played against Monza, he was a bit in difficulty because he received tasks that were different. It's different when you start a game from the bench and you enter with the sole objective to change the game, to give an assist, to, go, to give us a goal, to score a goal or maybe to go and reach a result that you are really looking for because your team is in difficulty or starting the game where you have the double phase that you have to pay attention for up and down with Monza it paid attention probably too much to the defensive phase to not actually make sure that Max Allegri was angry and told him stay calma stay calma Yesterday he was able to combine both phases, defensively and offensively, without losing his magic in the upside of the field, with that fantastic, beautiful reaction, standing up when he felt on the ground, being able to continue with a beautiful step over, not going to the left side of the field, what Kostic is usually doing, because he's a master in that Kostic, going on the left and crossing, that's why we also call him Kostic. Well, Ealing Jr., he has a diversity in his game style, being able to do what Kostic is doing going on the left with a cross but also entering going centrally approaching that box and that's what he did yesterday with his body approaching the box but giving the ball to Rabiot and then entering and scoring fantastic beautiful game and performance from Ian Junior that is now asking let me cook well I believe that with the performance of yesterday we will continue to let him cook not necessarily always from the start but now we have one weapon more we have one tool more from the bench but also from the start with Ian Junior. He's not the only one that was cooking. There is another one that is cooking and it's Paul Labil Pogba. Paul Labil Pogba that showed yesterday how much he starts to be there, present, and how much we can see of Paul Pogba until the end of the season. We have still that big question mark. Will we see Paul being able to play from the start of the game or not? But we have one thing that is sure. Paul Pogba, if he continues to do what he did yesterday and the game before, in parts of the game, he can be crucial for the continuity of Serie A, but also dreaming about Juventus lifting a silverware in Europa League. Coming back to Ealing Jr., to Pogba, etc., etc. I really wanted to stop speaking about the management of Max Allegri about these players, because a lot of people are 
thinking and you have two schools of thoughts, one part that is saying, well, Max Allegri is not daring enough to launch new players, to launch Paul Pogba, to launch Federico Chiesa, but especially the young ones. He's waiting for the entirety of the team to be injured before launching a Fagioli, before playing a Nilling Junior. Look at what they are doing on the field. They deserve to start and probably they deserve to start it much earlier than on the 7th of May 2023. And then you have another school of thought that are saying, look, he's managing them perfectly because when he thinks and he knows the team's best that they are ready, he's launching them and they are answering on the field. Fantastic performance of Sule against Inter and against Napoli. Fantastic performance of Fagioli in that second half versus Lecce. Fantastic start of the game yesterday of Ealing Jr. Were they ready and that's why Max Allegri start playing them? Were they not ready and that's why Max Allegri was waiting for them? Or did he wait too long? Big question that we will never have the right answer. But if we are looking at the words of Ealing Jr. yesterday after the game, he said, Allegri il top. Allegri is the top. He's helping me so much. Not only he promoted him from next gen to the first team forever now but also he's giving him now a start and that's also why probably he refused to go with the under 20 of England for the World Cup but remaining until the end of the season. Beautiful celebration of Dusan Vlaovic that is now thinking about Europa League, that is now thinking about top four with the Pogba more, with the Ealing Jr. more, but also with the Dusan Vlaovic more. Why Dusan Vlaovic? Because probably it's thanks to the referee, the referee that refused to whistle, you remember in the beginning of the video, the end of the game, because he was maybe waiting for Atalanta to equalize what he did instead without knowing it, and karma is fantastic, because it's Dusan Vlaovic that scored. After missing that goal that probably would have haunted him until the game of Sevilla, because he missed it against Portiello one-on-one, -on -one, well, they gave him the opportunity to score, to score a goal for him, to score for his confidence, but also a goal against racing that we will speak about at the end of the video. Now, we were speaking about 72 or 73 points needed to qualify to Champions League regarding, or we were waiting for the other games of Serie A to be played, Inter, Milan, Roma, Lazio. Well, with the win of yesterday, we are securing a bit that top four, but it's absolutely not over because the other one, the results that were given were not the optimal one. So 74 points will be needed for Juve to be sure of qualification in Champions League. 74 means eight more, eight more points to do in 12 points available. Will Juventus be able to do it against Cremonese, Empoli, Milan or Udinese? We will follow it that closely. We see here the ranking if you want to press pause and you can see which team will play against which team. Important, really important. Eh? We have to be strong on the field, but also strong against VAR and also against some decision. Look, yesterday they were waiting to convalidate that goal of Ealing Jr. They went back to analyze if yes or no Rabiot was offside, guys. If they will watch this one, we have to be really, really careful. Again, guys, not only Serie A will give us the opportunity to go to the top four, but also the Europa League that we are playing on Thursday against Sevilla that didn't play this weekend because they were resting. Well, they will have a bit more days of rest, but we have now super confidence with a Pogba, with a Vlaovic, with Inning Jr., but also with a team that was able to win two games in a row. Speaking about Spalletti, Giuntoli, and then the other topic. Well, yesterday Spalletti, during the party of Napoli, he said... Our director, Giuntoli, is already working on the squad and the signing of the next season because we need to work with anticipation in advance. De Laurentiis, he said that he wanted Giuntoli to stay. He said, of course, he's already working. We, we are there with uh, Giuntoli, with Spalletti, because we have to win, to win, to win. We have to open a cycle of victory. When Giuntoli was in front of the microphones, well, listening to his words, reading of uh, the articles written about his reported words, it looks like uh, Giuntoli is not saying, I am staying. I want to contribute to that cycle that we are opening. I want, yes, to win with Spalletti, with De Laurentiis. His words were, well, don't worry, Napoli fans, don't worry about the future. As with Aurelio De Laurentiis as a president, there is always going to be a great Napoli. He's not saying, I will be there and I will contribute with De Laurentiis and with Spalletti. No, he pushed the responsibility on Aurelio De Laurentiis. Don't worry, Napoli, with him, you're in safe hands. 
looks like we are going towards a separation of Juntoli with Napoli. That doesn't mean that he will go to Juve, because you know it, there are a lot of teams that are looking for a sporting director, but if you are reading a bit all the reports of the journalist, Juntoli could be the real first signing of Juventus and quite fast. I finish with the topic of yesterday. Vlaovic yesterday reacted to the chance of racism against him. Looks that in Serie A, in Calcio, players, they need to react to make things bigger like Lukaku did or Vlaovic yesterday. Because if you don't react and you ignore like Kostic did, well, nobody's speaking about it. Were they treated in the same way? We go back to the 6th of May, two days after what happened on the field in Allianz Stadium against Lukaku and we saw a Gazzetta dello Sport opening with Ora Basta front page with Lukaku in big now stop what did they say today after the what happened yesterday to Vlaovic well Rischia Derby the derby of the risk with Leao that is injured and so on because they are speaking about the Champions League what are you saying in small about uh, the racism episode well Vlaovic joy and anger that's it no nothing about racism nothing big about racism joy and anger it's a different way of seeing things Corriere dello Sport Scandalo Lukaku Scandal Controversy Lukaku big title in red today Max is second Napoli is singing and Osimen is celebrating the Tricolore the Scudetto party Juve were able to beat Gasperini and then in small Racist chance against uh, Dusan, Max Allegri, really hard. He's saying we have to fight against it. Difference. Inside papers, two pages on page four and five from Gazzetta dello Sport. Basta razzismo, stop racism. Guys, I really support that fourth and fifth page of Gazzetta dello Sport back then. Stop racism with Lukaku in big double page to explain the problems of calcio with racism. Today, they wait until page 17 to say, Razzismo, here we are again. Different treatment. Different treatment. To, to sport, Stato di Grazia. Again, the grace that is mentioned. Why? Because Gravina could potentially, from the moment that Vlaovic receive a yellow card that will mean a suspension, cancel that suspension. Grace, again, while Tutto Sport back then was saying La Juve espelle i razzisti. Juventus is banning the races. Look, I don't care about a yellow card or not. This will not stop the movement of racism. What I want is what Juventus did, being an example. Banning every single people that were doing racist chants. These are the measures that you have to take to stop racism, to show people that we are absolutely not joking about it. You are doing this provocation, violent conduct in racism, but also violent conduct in the stadium with other things, insults, with uh, violent conduct, you know, like uh, really fighting. These are things are not acceptable. This is how you go and fight against racism, banning people, that it's one, two, three, 40,000, you ban people one by one. Because these yellow cards, taking them, not taking them, it's good or not, we can even discuss about it, but this will not stop racism. What will stop racism is banning people. That's what Italy has to do, because it's not possible that in one month, these people are always taking the front pages, that we have to speak continuously about racism. It happened to Lukaku, it happened yesterday to Vlaovic, it happened to Caramo. Whatever the shirt that you are wearing, it happens too much in Italy and it should be happening zero time. Stop racism is the message. Guys, maximum of comment in the, in the comment section. Grazie for the maximum of likes, for the subscription to the channel. Grazie, forza. Juve. <laughs>